Today on Mod Summed Up, we are summarizing Tinker's Construct, originally by MDO. Tinker's Construct is known for its tool system, which is much different from vanilla, in that it is modular. Each tool, whether it be a pickaxe or something different, is made of two or more parts. Often, this will be a head, a handle, and an extra. Tinker's tools do break, but will never disappear from existence just because you forgot it only had one durability left. Each material you can make into parts has traits that affect the way your tool behaves. The tools can't be enchanted, but instead have a system of modifiers that can be applied to enhance its capabilities. You can also repair tools and even replace parts without requiring any levels. Early Tinker's tools can be made using a couple of tables and some stencils, but to really level up your tinkering, you'll need a smeltery. The smeltery allows you to melt down metals and ores by providing heat, generally using lava. You can then cast the liquid contents into a cast or a basin depending on what you want to create. The casting process can be automated using redstone or other mods fluid pipes. The smeltery is also used to create alloys, just by having multiple liquids inside. The alloying process is automatic, so it is common to accidentally create alloys if you keep a lot of stuff in your smeltery. Each tool part has a special cast that is used to form the molten material into the appropriate shape. Tinkers offers a wide variety of tools beyond the standard vanilla ones, including an axe, shovel, and hoe all in one, several assortments of swords to suit your combat style, the armor piercing crossbow, and a frying pan, because who wouldn't want to use that as a weapon? Besides the standard haste and sharpness type modifiers, there are also modifiers like shulking, which gives levitation to any mob you hit, and auto smelting, which automatically smelts anything you mine. Tinkers also adds slime islands that float in the sky, slime slings that send you flying, slime boots that bounce you up when you would have taken fall damage, and brownstone that increases your movement speed while on it. Let's wrap up with the Pacto's Corner. Tinkers is a very well-known mod in the community. It is very configurable and has mod tweaker support for melting, smeltery fuel, casting, alloying, and using the drying rack. The mod has magnificent in-game documentation, and given the no one tool is best nature of the mod, it gets used frequently. There are several add-on mods to Tinkers, and some of the most popular ones include Tinkers Tool Leveling, which gives more tool modifiers based on how much the tool is used, Tinker.io that adds additional smeltery automation options, and more Tinkers which adds tool material support for a lot of different modded materials. In total, Tinker's Construct is a unique tool creating mod that lets you create tools that fit your playstyle and adds a lot more depth and thought to tool making. It is a very well known mod that can be easily customized depending on what role you want it to play in your pack. And that's all I have for Tinker's Construct. Thank you for watching Mod Summed Up, the show where we sum up mods.